When we uh, found out that we were being commissioned to do this work, we got really excited. We're big geeks. We love science things. We love explosions, and uh, yeah, it was great fun. The fastest way for us to do this was to sketch it up with Flash as quick thumbnail storyboards. A lot of the character development was driven by mood boards that we did right at the very start. And then uh, we also looked at a lot of actual science to make sure that it was factually correct. Once we had the character fleshed out, we would paint it up in Photoshop and then export the After Effects for ready. Because it was aimed at children, things had to have a particular style look to them, but we wanted to have it based on reality. So for the design of this, I took, took cues from both the Apollo and the Gemini space programs for the design of Luna Spaceship. So they implement this, we made massive use of the Toon Shader, and that meant we could deliver a style that looks like cartoons, like along the lines of things like Futurama or South Park, but in a way that we could turn around really fast. After the characters were all designed in Photoshop, uh, the next step was bringing them into After Effects, and that's where we did all the character rigs. We set the rigs up so that it was easy to animate the final product. Like, for example, we set up expressions for the hands, like different sliders, so the hand could do a grip. And now for the science bit. The background and the character had to have consistency, and also we had to integrate that well with Sean's 3D renders of the universe and the space capsule to make it all feel very cohesive so that it worked. It took God a week to create the universe, but we had two and a half weeks, so it was more than enough time and I think we managed to achieve that. It was really good working on the, this animation. It's time to go back to the mother ship. This is Flight Specialist Sean Worski signing off. Give me a sign offline.